Hello, my name is Bo Ekberg. I'm the application specialist of a mega factory in Sweden. Today we're going to do a static resistance measurement and we're going to use Eagle 223 and we're also going to use the injection unit SDRN. I have done a timing measurement before and now I need to set for the SRM measurement. Select the measurement type, static, and I'm using SDRM, the mode SDRM. If your SDRM mode is not available here, that means you don't have that option. You need the SDRM option or the plus, which are licenses, which are extra for Eagle 200. I only have one SDRM box, so I'm, I'm going to do the measurements phase-wise. I start with phase A. You see the difference here when I select ABC, that my instrument is not big enough to do all the phases at the same time. So I need to do the measurement phase-wise. Continue with the connections. So I select connections to the left. As you can see here on my instrument, I have power supply and grounded already connected. The controls are also connected, but I don't need them during the SRM measurement. But they can still be there because there is no pulse coming out. To calculate resistance, I need to have voltage and current measured. So I'm using the two channels for that. And I have the Eagle 223. So then I'm using the two analog channels. The first channel is for voltage. There I connect my MR cable. The MR cable has earlier been used for timing. And we need to use the MR type of cable. We can't use the DCM cable. The MR cable though don't fit in the analog. So we need to use an adapter. And I connect my voltage cable to the analog channel. I also need to connect the current. Here I need to fill in the ratio. The ratio you can find on the label on the SDRM box. My specific value is 10.007 and I need to divide that with 250 and I get the value 40.028 and I fill that in 40.028 so and the offset was minus 0 0.7 and I connect the first channel of it SRM box to the second channel of my instrument. I also need to connect my trig DRM output. I can see I should connect them here to the minus and the plus. As you can see, it should also be charged and of course connected to the big SDRM box with a long cable up to the object.
get my results in the graph? I start with looking at the parameters. My result here is 27,9 microohms. The current has been 151 amps. OK, I have to change my settings here in the graph to see that I can view my graphs properly. I have my voltage and my current and also my resistance. So I change them. Then I continue to do a couple of measurements. So I get a few measurements here in my list. Then I change to the next phase, to B phase. And of course, I need to move my SDRM box to the next phase on the circuit breakers. My connections are still the same on the instrument. Thank you very much for the attention. Check out our other videos on YouTube.